Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the combine features and all the elements that come under that in Cricut Design Space. As we can see here, I have two shapes. I have a square and I have a star and I've changed the color to make them easy to see. We can see that both shapes are also visible in the layers panel. So we're going to select both of the shapes and now we can see that it's highlighted the functions that are available across the bottom. We're going to click on combine and the first function we can see is weld. So we're going to click on weld and we can now see that it's changed both the square and the star to be one continuous shape. It's also changed it in the layers panel to be one layer. So that has welded those two together. If you was to click save and move on, then that will be permanent. If you don't click save, then you are able to undo the design and it will pop it back to how it was before. And we can see the two shapes and the two layers in the layers panel. The next option we've got is Unite. So if we click on Unite, we can see that it has changed the layer to be just one and it's done a similar function to if we had welded it and it's made it one continuous shape. If you want to save the design now and come back to it later, you can do. But the bonus with Unite is you can undo Unite and then that will reverse the operation then give us two separate shapes again. If you want your design to be permanently united together then click on merge layers and that is basically doing the same operation as the weld feature. The next feature is subtract and we can see here both the shapes are selected and we can see both of the shapes in the layers panel. So if we click on subtract that has subtracted the top layer from the bottom layer. You will also notice that it has also subtracted out an element of the bottom layer that was overlapping. So if we place it back in, it's obviously back to how it was. To see this again, we can click on the star and we can click on arrange and we can send that to the back. So now the square is the top layer. And if we select both of the shapes and go back down to combine, click on subtract, we can see that it has subtracted out half of the star and the whole of the square where that was. So with subtract, it's always good to bear in mind that whichever shape is at the top, it will also subtract out part of that shape that is in the bottom layer as well. So you need to bear that in mind when you're making your design. The next feature is intersect. So if we click on intersect, this shows you the section where the two pieces have intersected over the top of one another. So pretty much like it shows you on the picture, only the piece where both sections have overlapped. And here we can see now it's only showing you the intersect layer. If you want to reverse this function, again, we can can go to undo intersect and also we can merge layers so we'll click on undo and there we can see our two separate designs and the final function is exclude so if we go down to combine then we click on exclude and with exclude it shows you the part of the design here in the center that is overlapping and that's the part that it has excluded so down here we can also go to undo exclude and merge layers so if we click on that it will obviously put the part of our shape back. These features can also be used with multiple layers. So if we just add another shape, if we take a heart and we'll pop that in as well, if we select all of the shapes, it still gives you all of the options to weld, unite, subtract, intersect and exclude. So it can be used with more intricate texts or designs or shapes or images or anything that you are working on for your project. I really hope you found my tutorial on the compound features helpful and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.